<clears throat> You're here. The galaxy awaits your salvation. Yes, I am here. And we are back in Hell Divers 2. And the Automaton invasion continues and it only gets worse and worse. What has happened to the planets while I was asleep? Oh my gosh. I actually witnessed this real time right before I actually started stream. This sector was clear. The planet that I worked so hard to defend was liberated. But these two planets, Short Bay and Lissath, lost. They lost their defense. The timer ran out. And then we got another update. And the automatons have pushed even further. They pushed back into the sector and now pushed past Minkent onto Vernon Wells and now into this other sector taking over Malter Bay. The automatons are not playing around. Not at all. They are, of course, pushing closer and closer to Super Earth. Now, I was going to move to Vernon Wells, but for some reason, Water Bay is calling my name. And honestly, it's because of the rainstorms that this planet can have. And I am super interested to see what that's like, because I personally don't think I've ever even seen rainstorms in this game. So Mortar Bay, it is for me. Just going to... Since I am just waking up, I am going to just start off on a level four. Easy peasy, doing a little solo dello as well. See what's going on over on this planet. Yes, we have 23 hours, 24, less than 24 hours to continue defending these planets. My gosh, maybe I should not have went to sleep. Maybe that's. Maybe that's what happened. I went to sleep and everything went to shit. Alright. Master Chief, be with me. What should I take? What should I take? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, take that. Let me take this barrage. Become a big fan of the sniper against the bots. I do like the geyser cannon as well. I take the jetpack and the sniper this time. Let's go. Things just keep getting crazy, and crazy. Collect medals to progress your war barn. Oh yeah, that's something else. I need to collect more medals and more samples and more of those super super credits. Things that I've been lacking on, which is a little bit difficult to be able to find when you're playing on level 7 through 9. But we are here. Martyr Bay. Never been on this planet before, and holy shoot. Let them come. Let them brawl. Let them face the insurmountable might of the hell divers. I don't want to be that guy. But I'm going to be that guy and say that I actually kind of really enjoy the theme of this planet. Anything with lightning and dark clouds and thunderstorms. They okay in my book. Objective located. Northwest. 
fucking tower over there. Found something. A few bots over here. Dump some rain. All right. So, so far, I'm actually kind of liking this planet. Although I did just land two minutes ago. Need to take that out. I don't know how well that detector eye can spot me in this weather. You need to wait for it to kind of pass this direction though. This is getting quite dark. All right, orbital strike, don't fail me. Please knock out this fucking tower. If you don't, I'll never use her again. Knocked out the tower. That's all I wanted. Automaton facility destroyed. Yo, what's up, Inferno? How's it going, brother? We are losing the war against the autom automatons. Please. I am. It's not that great this morning. I did just wake up, so makes sense. Dropping a pin. West. 50 meters. Let's see if there's any other side objectives around. One over there. Can't see it though. Dropping a pin. West. 100 meters. What the fuck? How lucky can you be? His ability is definitely reduced. I can't see shit. About 50 meters in front of me. You know, you sh you're shooting rockets at me, bro. Oh 
Homie just blew up his own fabricator. <laughs> Homie just blew up his own fabricator. Nice. Dumbass.
There we go. Yo, what's up, baggies? Super credits. I need those. <laughs> Just looking at the war map. Oh, you see it update? I was. I actually watched it freaking real time uh, update. Because I was about to go live, but then it was like, oh, there's like two minutes left of the defense. Dude, we we lost that so hard. The only planet that we was able to successfully defend was Minkit, which was the planet that I was uh, defending yesterday. That was the one planet that was able to successfully defend. Every, every other planet got fucking... A loss so fucking hard. And now you look at the freaking map now and they, they're they've taken over so much. Or they're at least attacking a lot. under attack again yeah i know but i've already spent my time on min kent i wanted to go to a different planet so i came to mortar mortar bay i think is the name of it the bots are not playing around that's one thing
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Landing on dude, these things right here are so fucking stupid. I think it was going fine until it wasn't. <clears throat> what achievement? So the way this game works is if you're in a firefight, right? Let's say you're in a firefight with a patrol right here and you're shooting at them and the bullets pass them and land next to the guys over there that were aggro that whole base. And then they were start shooting at you and calling in reinforcements, everything like that. So you gotta be like, it, it's hard to, it's hard to like keep it in mind, like during like the fight and everything. But, like if you are able to, you gotta try to keep in mind where your sh shots are gonna land. And if you're missing a lot of shots and they're passing and landing next to other people, then it's just going to aggro them. Best game Ghost Recon? No, that's false. I don't agree with that. Should have brought the Eagle Strike. More usage. Can't you shoot through that? Hello? Sending down equipment package. I don't know what planet defend. Ah. I went with Mortar Bay just because it said it has thunderstorms. I was like, that sounds cool. I haven't seen thunderstorms yet. Back to 
Brother, can you stop? <laughs> Strategically speaking, I should probably defend Vernon. This is closer to Super Earth, and it's the automations could probably advance. I was thinking that too. Whatever planet was closest to Super Earth is the one that should probably be defended strategically. Nor, can you stop with the spam? Jesus Christ. Coming annoying. If I could have blown up that uh, fabricator, it would have blew up the jammer. But I have no grenades. I never have grenades. I'm always out of grenades. I need to wear the armor that gives extra grenades. this YouTube chat yeah Dude, why does the hell bomb suck ass bro <laughs> why why is it so bad why is it so difficult to throw down a hell bomb the freaking ball is always just freaking rolling around. I think the hell bomb is the one that does it the most. I, I don't understand why. I think this will lock onto that fabricator. Yep.
Command, southeast. 100 meters. Did I not call in my supply? No, I thought I did. In my grenade. I don't know if there was any other side objectives. You may proceed to extraction. I never spotted them. Smooth indeed. What you like? You like the jetpack through the freaking bunker? Melee, sneak through, grab some samples, get out. Very smooth. Y'all want to squat up? By the way. Inferno, baggies, y'all want to squad up. Extraction shuttle inbound. New war bond tomorrow bro i haven't even i haven't even been able to unlock the other two new war bond bro i haven't even been able to complete the original one i haven't been able to un unlock the other two like what
the new one kind of looks cool or at least some of it does a lot of explosives explosions explosives and explosions Uh, maybe after I get my remaining daughter off to school. All right, all right, all right. Of course, of course, of course. To complete this major order, we have to successfully defend two of the three planets under attack. A 100% survival rate. I'm pretty sure Mortar Bay. Yeah, this planet's one of them. A battleground awaiting your heroic intervention. Minkent, and then v Vernon. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Oh. Look, I mean, like, strategically, I should have probably gone to Vernon. But I'm gonna be honest with you. More mortar bay with the thunderstorms just seemed very intriguing. I gotta kill two and now later tanks. I probably won't be doing the super hard difficulties today because last night after I ended stream, I kept playing solo. And dude, I did like four solo level eight and level nine operations, like four. So that's like three times four missions. Solo dolo. My mind got melted. I did it successfully, but Jesus Christ. So I think, t I think today I'm just going to be kind of, <laughs> I'm just going to be chilling on like a few lower difficulties. Uh, you do it just the time for the kill as many bots as you can in 15 minutes mission. Very nice. Is the scorcher good? I need like one more. I need like, man, I'm so fucking sick of you. I'm tired of you. Get the fuck off my ship. <laughs> Mission preparation aborted. Is the uh, is the scorcher good though? I feel like every weapon's good in their own aspect, right? Depending on how you use it, they're very good in their own scenario. Um, let me see here. Gotta kill as many as we possibly can. As many as we possibly can. I think it's fairly good. Hmm. I see. I want to get the stun grenade. That's what I want. I want a freaking stun grenade. I think I'm gonna go with airstrike cluster.
Gatling barrage. Sentry. With a uh, fertility. Switch my armor to this one so I can be fast with standard armor. Or I could switch to this one to have extra grenades because I do like having extra grenades. Extra grenades is always nice. shoddy like the freaking shoddy ready to go what is that is that incendiary all right i can't play with heavy armor bro Heavy armor just feels like ass. You're so slow. Your stamina recharge is super slow. Stun? Nice. I need to get the stun. How do you get the stun? Which war bond is the stun in? Oh shit. I can't see shit. Bro, would you load the fucking gun? Holy. Oh my god. Oh, that was. <laughs> that, that was my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> I thought you was like on the other side. I didn't realize you was like right there. I just fucked you up by accident.
Here, have your fucking grenade back. Rip baggy for super. You were aware you're at two minute ads every two, two minute ads every two. What the fuck? Is it? Two minutes ads every 12 minutes. No, Baggies, you're running to it. Oh, well, thank God you didn't die. <laughs> oh, well, now you're dead. I'm looking for samples.
A rocket hits harder. Oh, I can't want to fire. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I, we got all we got all the samples. Nice. 13 out of 13. Let's go. I need these. What's up, K Martin? How's it going, brother? You've been watching your friends play Hell Divers. Hell Divers is it's a fun game. I don't. It's a fun game. I don't recommend playing on the higher difficulties all the time because it was just for it. It will it will frustrate you and make you hate the game. I killed you twice. Uh, well, yeah, sacrifices were to be made for Super Earth. Thanks for your noble sacrifice. Exactly. Welcome back. Well done. Oh yeah. Uh, decreases cooldown for backpack. O orbital stratagem cooldown reduced. Improved steering. Increases health for century. Increases ammo for century. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I don't. I really, dude. I really want to use the the century stuff because I use centuries pretty often. 100 second reduction in call-in time for all emplacement strategies. What does that mean? Jump starts hair pod firing with immediate TNT. 100 second reduction. Does that mean, does that mean that it gets to you like immediately? Steering the hell pod so much easier with that upgrade. Hmm. Orbital stratagem cooldown reduced. I kind of want to go with one of the sentries, but I don't know which one I want. Because I like using the sentry, but... Sometimes they, they blow up super fast, so maybe the health one would be great. Increase health of century. Increasing the ammo would be nice too. As much as you use them, would you? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like to use a little bit of everything when I get the chance to, because I think everything has its own value. Depending on like the situation and everything like that. Um, and I, I really like the sentry weapons. Also a heavy armor trash. Dude, I told you. Heavy armor is garbage. It's it's literally no it's not worth running heavy armor. With how slow you move, how slow you regain your stamina, and the armor it adds, it just like I I never noticed the difference between how much damage you can take in heavy armor compared to like medium i can tell the difference between medium and light but the difference between heavy and medium there uh, you, there's no difference 
to the damage you take. Plus, it, you being so fucking slow, you're gonna get shot more. But a single triumph more, and the operation. Every drop of oil is spilled for every broken bald bot army real prevail. The bot army is whooping ass right now. But to be fair, a lot of the, the hell divers aren't even freaking doing the major order. They're doing planets that's not even important. We're gonna drop it like it's hot, all right? We're gonna drop right on the launch codes, all right? You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> well. Let me see, let me see. I feel like having one of each is good. One orbital and one airstrike. Because you're always going to take a support weapon or a backpack. So that's already taken up two slots. So I feel like taking two eagles isn't too good. And taking two orbitals isn't too good. Because sometimes you run into like a anti-air, so you can't use eagles, but you can use orbital. So I feel like having one of each is good, but it also comes down to what orbital. Because the eagle air strike is really good at knocking things down. I don't trust the 500 kilogram bomb. I don't trust it, bro. I I, I don't trust this bomb. It don't do shit. <laughs> but you don't. You don't really have a orbital version of the Eagle airstrike because like you have the barrages, but you have to just kind of hope and pray that it fucking destroys what you're aiming for. I could bring the big barrage. The walking barrage is kind of nice. It goes in a straight line, kind of. Yo, what's up, purple? Even if the barrages don't destroy everything, they look good. Yeah. So I think taking a barrage and then taking an eagle. The only eagle that I trust is the airstrike when it comes to destroying buildings. The, the eagle airstrike does not destroy the detection tower. At least the times that I've tried, um, it like I've seen the bomb literally hit the building, hit the tower, and blow up on the side of the wall and, and not not bring it down. Which is weird because I've also placed down a mortar sentry, and the mortar sentry would just spam bomb the detection tower because all the enemies were dead. So it, I don't know. I guess it just targeted that, and it blew it up. All right, should I take the walking barrage or the 120 barrage? Really wish I could be on those front lines. Dang, what are you? Are you at work or unable to play Xbox maybe? I don't understand why Xbox doesn't have this game. 
I don't know anything about that. Just had to slide over here instead of YouTube. Oh, <laughs> well, what was up, Corporal again? Um, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take the walking one, test it out. The I'm gonna be honest with you, the 120 has actually been pretty, pretty useful when it comes to tossing it in and hoping it uh, destroys what I'm wanting it to destroy. Uh, Phoenix is uh, the one who suggested it yesterday. Richard is coming to Xbox soon. You think so? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool. It does. I keep hearing things about how hell divers um freaking ended the console war between like xbox and playstation i think that's pretty cool um okay what was i doing shield geyser cannon last time i went with the sniper rifle this time i'm going with geyser cannon that is the geyser cannon right Oh wait, you're you're actually taking all barrages. Oh shit. Yeah, Xbox is not a priority. Well, from my understanding, I don't know much about everything, but it's something about Microsoft CEO. I don't know. Xbox, the Xbox CEO, I don't know, doesn't care for it to come to Xbox. I don't I have no idea. Sony has held out his IP. Well, for my own, I mean, I don't know, man. It's just like you see things, you read things, whatever, whatever. I have no idea. I mean, like, I, I feel like Hell Divers is one of those games that should be on all platforms. It, it's, it's the game that calls to all arms on all platforms. This is the game that literally calls the gaming community together for one purpose, and that is Super Earth. Why exclude Xbox? I mean, to be fair, the only people you can really be mad about for that is Helldivers. The company that made Helldivers. If you want to be like upset with anybody you should be upset with the devs for making hell divers that ex you know exclusive oh my god did you throw a barrage in here i killed everybody what the fuck all you had to do was shoot him in the face you don't have the what what the hell my guy there's no one there but yeah i mean like in all reality, if there's even one to be upset with, it's not Xbox or anything. It's it, it, it would be the devs to be like, why did you decide to make this game for PlayStation and PC only? Did you not think about that in the beginning? I mean, I don't know anything, bro. Which should be Sony. Dropping a pin, southeast. I have no idea. Be mad at Sony. It is weird though. Overall, no matter how you think about it or whatever, it's like, this is like the game that calls everybody together, but yet it excludes Xbox. <laughs> Makes no sense.
And then Xbox is just like, yeah, we don't really care if we get this game or not. Sony's money hungry. Well, for, I mean, like, like I said, from my understanding, Xbox, like the, the CEO, whatever, they don't care to get this game. Like I, I saw, I saw a, uh, a clip about something that he posted on like Twitter or something like that. And it was basically him saying that he does not want this game on Xbox. Why? I have no idea. I, uh, they also said something about Power World. Did Power World not come out for PlayStation? I don't know anything about that game. That game was, looked stupid as fuck to me. When I say stupid as fuck, I mean not my taste. Yeah, I think, I, I mean, like, I don't know anything about Pokemon or Power World. You know, if, if you're into it, that's cool. It's just like, I know nothing about it. I even saw, like, videos of it because I thought about maybe getting it to just try and play. But, like, the gameplay videos of it look like a freaking, like, $12 fucking ripoff game. I don't know. The gameplay seemed very. It seemed like very 2002 PlayStation vibes. But yeah, I don't know. Um, when it comes to like Hell Divers and Xbox, yeah, the thing. I think. Uh, Power World was tied to the conversation for whatever reason. So I think like if Power World didn't come out for PlayStation, I think it has something like that. I think Xbox was like, oh, well, we have Power World so they can keep Helldivers, something like that. I don't know. Like from, from everything that I've seen so far, and it could change, but everything I've seen so far, like Xbox just does not care and does not want this game. I mean, obviously the player base does, but the company doesn't, which I think is really stupid. Have oh, divers coming to Xbox. We have so many more divers coming in. Exactly. There would be more people coming in. There would be more hell divers. Like it, like in the game, there would be more hell divers to fight. You know, against the enemies, right? But then in, in reality, it's bringing the gaming community together even more than it already has, right? So it just doesn't make sense. But the gaming companies don't care about that. The gaming companies don't care about the players and the gaming community. They just care about money. But whatever doesn't benefit them making money, then they don't care. Which is stupid, because if Helldivers came to Xbox, then Xbox would be making money. Unless it has something to do with, like, Microsoft has to, like, pay Sony something like that for the game. But I hate, I hate these Saul guys, because they just, they take so much damage. Like, they don't look like they would, but they, they take more damage than, like, Hulk do, I swear. Dude, they, they, they've eaten through seven of my fucking magazines already and just still haven't died. 
And those guys somehow can block bullets for their swords. Sony's making too much money off Helldivers to give it to Xbox. I mean, wouldn't they make more money if they like sh sold or shared revenue with Xbox? How come PC has it? I never understood how some games go to Xbox, but also go to PC. And some games go to P uh, PlayStation and then go to PC. It's really weird because usually it's Xbox games go to PC while PlayStation games don't. And then it takes years for PlayStation games to finally go to uh, PC. So why did, why did Helldivers go to PC so fast? Bro, I wonder if I can destroy this fucking outpost, but like... Everything keeps getting fucking... Keeps pushing me back. You just love throwing those barrages. <laughs> because the Outdivers devs published it on PC first. I don't know anything. I, I don't want to like speak too much on it. Cause I just don't know. I just know like here and there from like things I've seen in red. And then like, that's pretty much it. It killed a lot. Nice. Did we check this? Dude, I need to find some of those freaking super credits. Can you play? Uh, maybe, maybe in a little bit. Not right now, though. Maybe in a few. But if you purposely team kill, you're getting bam, buddy. Kick to the curb. Forgotten about. You just shoot at everything you see. But I don't
You don't know what just happened? <laughs> I don't know either. I was letting the patrol pass. The next thing I know, you're just blasting. You could be hunted by the entire community. Yeah, I've heard things about the Helldiver community, like... Like, people who purposely go out of their way to freaking, like, team kill and stuff. Like, those people, like, get hunted and stuff like that. I never purposely team kill unless you're, like, a personal friend. Like, I know you. Like, Crow, for example. I know Crow. So, I may, here and there, purposely kill her. But like baggies, for example, I'm not going to, I'm not going to purposely kill baggies only accidentally. Have you grenade back? Dude, I feel like this gun is nice, but it's a magazine being so small makes it makes it bad. All right, you want to barrage something? I bet we barrage the freaking anti here. Oh shit! You're barraging me. I'm gonna throw one too. They're getting oh, double barraged. They're getting absolutely fucked. Hello. <laughs> Jesus. You can go in the menu after the game recently played and then block those traitors <laughs> to democracy. True. I don't really play with randoms though. I may invite viewers in my stream. I may invite them into a squad for a few missions, but uh, I never just joined random people's games or allow random people to join my game. I don't know, I have a weird thing. I don't trust random people. Have you found any samples? We have five samples on the 21. I don't even need rare samples. I need common. Which again is the one that I find to be more rare than actual rare. Tagging map, northwest, 100 meters. We forgot an outpost all the way over there. 
Which is fine because we got to go in that direction anyways to finish the main mission. That's where the super rare rares would be. That's where the supers would be. God damn it. Like I played on level eight and level nine too much last night. I need a mental break from that. They did not care. God, dude, those dudes are so tanky. Oh, you got blown up by the jetpack, bro. These guys are fucking tanks. They can they they can somehow take a freaking Gauzer cannon shot to the face and survive. They are actual tanks. Which is very weird considering they have like no armor. Crazy guys. What planet am I on? I'm on. Well, it's in. It's in the title, my friend. It's in the title. Mortar Bay. I still don't understand how he can block bullets with the sword. Metals. You get over there. Let's go fuck this place up. Rolling grenade. Or did they just not care about sound anymore? Used to be able to tell us to grenade off to the side, they would go investigate. Now they just don't give a fuck. Inbound. 
say Scythe? No, it's not. It, it, the, the, the name of the planet I'm on is literally in the title. It's uh, Mortar Bay. Shotguns are really good against the, the saw guys. Every time I have like three of them charging me and I don't have a shotgun, I miss a shotgun. I'm like, damn, I wish I had a shotgun. Shotguns can kind of shred through them. You know you can use this gas as smoke. Jesus Christ, I thought the freaking tower blew up. Other robots back? No. We're fighting humans right now. They don't like bugs. Yeah, they are back. And they're not just back. They are absolutely insane. They have been taking over everything. We've already lost. Uh, we've already lost some planets to them. Like, a lot. See, this is why I wanted to be on this planet. The freaking thunderstorms, dude. I just think it's so sick. This guy really needs a bigger mag. Another tank, by the way. Completely miss. I'm telling you, these guys can just tank Gauzer cannons.
the vibe of this one is insane it really is the terrain looks like that one planet but the weather is uh very different very stormy i think i think this planet is supposed to be like uh a stormy type planet it's also one of the main three planets that needs to be defended right now Not worth. I'm on it. Mission at ten minutes remaining. There's like nothing over here. may have an addiction brother i've been playing this game every day for 12 hours for the past five days i have only been playing the game for five days i will gladly say and admit that i uh i do have an addiction I say five days. It's probably been about six days now. Maybe, maybe a week. Orbital inbound. Orbital inbound. Firing orbital barrage. Clear the definitely, inbound. definitely addicted. It's a, it's a fun game, and then like you know the whole. You know, contributing to trying to liberate and defend planets as a community, this and then and the other. You just blow yourself up. Okay, the walking barrage is not as effective as the 120 is, that's for sure. Got some of that ODST vibes going on. Can't see shit. What do you mean you can't see shit? Is the quality bad? What, what's going on? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Saying can't see shit in someone's stream is like a bad thing to say because like it makes me think that something's going on So dark. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is pretty dark
Yeah, definitely got some of that ODST vibes going on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave the launch site. I for some reason thought it was... <laughs> I zoned down. I thought it was done. That's my bad. Oh my god. What the fuck? Uh, you dot 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 me. <laughs> I zoned down. I, th I thought it was done. I was like, all right, maybe it's just done. Nah, I was wrong. <laughs> it's on me. Now I understand why you're just throwing barrages. I thought you were just throwing barrages randomly, you know, for the fun of it to watch the explosions. <laughs> So I, I was like, this man bags over here going crazy. He's just blowing shit up. <laughs> Speaking of Halo ODST, did you did y'all know the rookie, the the main character that you play as in that game, dies off screen? Not even by like the covenant either. He he dies from a he, he dies from a human insurrectionist, you know, pretty much a rebel. <laughs> In a book. Who his name is Rookie. He was the main character that you played as in uh, Halo ODST. These samples. He was like that guy, you know, he was like the guy. He was the silent guy that was like really good at what he did. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle inbound. If you never played ODST, then you wouldn't understand. you in the barrage how about that let's we'll throw you in the barrage oh my god i regret it barrage saved me Oh my god. <laughs> oh 
I was trying to fucking shoot him. And then you meleeed right in front of my bullets. You got you gotta you gotta get your samples. I didn't think that would kill you. <laughs> I thought it would just ragdoll you. Oh my god. I thought it would just ragdoll you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Damn. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. In baggies, there's nothing personal. We're so accidents. Oh, complete, absolute accidents, I swear. <laughs> that grenade, I swear. I thought it was just ragged on you. I didn't think it would kill you. I thought, like, maybe it would, like, knock you down. I was wrong, obviously. My B. My B. My B. <laughs> My sincere apologies. Got my personal order. Completed it. Ready for another mission, Hell Diver? I beg you, if you're leaving, bye bye. Get off my ship. Asshole. <laughs> man i remember first playing this game and using the very first support weapon which was the machine gun i thought it was a freaking insane fun weapon and then i just haven't really used it ever since like i've gotten like other stuff i kind of want to i kind of want to go back to it i kind of want to use it I think the biggest thing that makes me not want to use it is just the having to stop and reload it. I also remember when I first got the auto cannon and I thought that thing was crazy. Actually, no, not the auto cannon, but the, uh, the recoilers rifle. Bro, I thought that was like an amazing fucking weapon. The recoilers, re recoilers rifle is pretty much like a EAT, but with a backpack. But now you have the Gauzer Cannon. Which is just better than all of them. I still think the EAT does more damage though. Because there's definitely been times where like I've hit an enemy with the Gauzer Cannon and then they just keep moving. While if I hit them with the EAT then they, they die. Same with the recoilers rifle. I feel like the EAT and the recoilers rifle are like on par with each other. Friends just got on. It was fun. Be back later.
Oh god. Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat. Hell divers to hell pods. <laughs> nah, I'm not shaking your hand. I'm not doing it. Get out of here with that bullshit. It's not Scout. No, no, I don't, I don't trust you. Go get on your ship. Leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to play with you. Leave. Go. Go be with your friend. Go team kill them or <laughs> get team killed by them. Yeah, you better walk away. Pussy. <laughs> All right. You're not going to walk away, are you? Allied destroyer has left squadron. Yeah, me gone. Be out. Hey, bye bye. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see you. Um, should I get the scorcher? Wait, did someone see the scorcher was good or bad? I think I'm gonna get it and try it. Fuck it, why not? It really wasn't a scout, by the way. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Get the fuck up. I don't believe a damn thing you say. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, the 120 branch. Uh, airstrike. I'm bringing the uh, Scorcher this time because I want to see what that's like. Then I guess I could bring. I could bring. Mm, oh, yeah, I wanted to bring the machine gun to fuck around with it. Oh. Uh, I guess I just bring the Gauzer cannon again. Shield and Gauzer cannon. This, uh, I'm gonna be on my own. Swap over to this weapon. Scorcher. The scythe does 300 damage. I didn't know that. That's a lot of damage. Oh wait, the scythe does 300 damage. I don't know. I'm gonna try the uh, scorcher. Never tried it before. Was high five? Yeah, I bet it was. I bet it fucking was, bro. I bet it fucking was. Don't you lie to me. Here we go. I can't see anything. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Oh, that is a rock. Go now. Oh. And fear the shadow of neither death nor tyranny, but just no. as you call. Sending down support weapon. Deploying equipment package. All right, what's going on here, buddy? Dropping a pit. He's close. 
What is that? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Right, let me test this weapon out. Hey guys, it's me. What? They can shoot these guys through the thing? No shot. Sam side. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. The freaking mock wave. The mock wave icon is the Sam side. Uh... Bro, you can just shoot straight through that. Hey guys, it's me. This gun doesn't seem too bad. I guess its biggest downfall is uh, just not that much ammo. So that's there. Come and do this. be an easy one Tagging yep north, 200 meters
Impact grenades, baby.
attacking map. North. 200 meters. something. Something here.
dropping a pin. Southwest. 100 meters. <laughs> Tagging map, southwest, two hundred meters. What? Hmm. Weird. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. Move this thing. A mouse. Two years. Holy shit. You've been following for two years and this is your first message. What?
Liberty returns, locked and loaded.
tagging map. Southeast. 200 meters. left. Liberty speed your step, hell diver. a pin northwest close
reinforcement budget depleted. ETA T minus 30 seconds. ETA T minus 20 seconds. T-minus 10 seconds, clear landing zone. This is Pelican 1. I have visual on the extraction zone. Pelican 1, landing in progress. Mission complete. This operation is done. Major order completed. What do you mean by this? I do not know. About fifty thousand here. About 19,000 here and about 29,000 here. Jesus. With the defend these planets. Automatons to reduce their numbers. Defend area. Uh, I see. Let's go. Uh, airstrike. Luster. Laser.
Ah, I fucking killed myself.
Changing map. E, 100 meters. Very nice, very nice. Da -da -da -da. Welcome back. 
Yes, yes it does, I suppose. Yes. Uh, maybe jetpack this time. Or recordless rifle instead. Maybe a maybe a century, and then I can take the recoilish rifle. Yes. Ah. Uh. I like to switch some things up every now and again. I don't want to go in with the same loadout every single freaking time because that would get boring rather quickly. Ooh. Shield geyser cannon. Shield geyser cannon. Precision strike. Eagle strike. That'd be real boring. Again, I land on a rock. Let them come. Let them For the love of God, this Let is not where I want to be. Oh! Ow! 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 Oh! E! Oh! My ass cheeks. Right, let me see here. Where's that freaking? There it is. Oh, I'm sure I am. Oh, damn it! Yes, yes. There you are, piece of shit. Orbital barrage incoming. Stand clear.
<laughs> Can't see shit, it's so dark. Hello. Very aware of the tactical asset. How about a nice cup of liver tea? Uh. Stupid artillery. Oh. Sir, you seem a bit stuck. Let me help you unstuck you. Okay, there is something else over here. Right. Okay. This is facility. Reload this. I haven't actually used the recoilless rifle in a little bit. Where them samples at though, hello? Tagging map, southwest, 100 meters. Help on more, clear the area. Venti ear over here, take this shit out. Hey guys, it's me, your boy. Orbital barrage incoming. Stand clear.
All right. Anything else? I think that's it. Christ, so dodgy. Super credits, please. Wasn't fucking loaded.
fantastic, bro. Got him. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Jesus, I've so far to run. The big ass map. Super credits. Oh, I decided to turn around there and check that. All right, here's some target practice. I need to learn how to properly aim this. Especially from this distance and this high of a ground. Is it like that? I guess. Easy. I feel like I'm just running forever.
making progress. Very nice. Meters. Missed. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. Deploying equipment package. Bro, where the fuck did they come from? Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Hello, Tink. Reporting to the front. Fuck. Bro! What the fuck? Jetpack just randomly explodes. Fucking bitch. 
<laughs> the fucking jetpack just randomly explodes. Thanks. That's cool. <laughs> What's up, baggies? Trader. Dude, my allergies have been backing up. Bro, I can't see shit. It's so fucking dark. Holy shit. Bro, it's like foggy or like smoky and then dark on top of that. Like, I, I just can't see. Dropping a pin. East, 200 meters. Oh. I mean, those little guys sure do love fucking calling reinforcements. Friend didn't finish his Hellmeyer operation. Oh. Hellmeyer was already liberated though. Bro! It's fucking blocking. I can't get over there. What is this shit? It's blocking the path. Sons of bitches. Fuck him up, fuck him up. You've been following me for 14 days. Baggies, what the fuck? Baggies, what the fuck? I thought you've been following me for longer than that. Hello? It's like I don't even know you. Eight months? Oh. I didn't see the eight months part. Leave me alone. I take it back. I take back all the mean and negative things I've said about you. Okay. I'm sorry. My apologies. No hard feelings, right? <laughs> Just a joke, bro, right? Join the Hell Divers. Is 
He's got to let you team kill me three times next time. Nah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Look, all the times I team killed you earlier were complete accidents. 99.8% of them. All accident. I swear. You gotta believe me. Freedom market on thanks to you. You may proceed to extraction. Let's go take out the last few outposts and then be on my way. The operation will be done and over with. Oh, I forgot I had a sentry gun. Nice. Yo, this freaking planet is definitely a vibe, but at the same time, I can't say shit. Man, how did how did that not how did that not like do the thing? I gotta get over there. Somehow. Oh, it's raining. Bro, aiming this gun is not that easy. There's like a lot of like sway kind of. That makes sense. Bro. Sh he's shooting me through the rock. He's actually shooting me through the rock. The rock it doesn't even exist for him. Fucking bitch. You see that? It was really weird. It's like some of the bullets were just going through the rock. It's like the rock wasn't like a full object. weird to be fair a lot of the objects in this game is like that hey. How many of there were you? Hello? I'll just keep fucking coming. Dude, all my weapons are empty. The fucking jetpack! I swear to fucking god! Dude, the jetpack just randomly explodes! Oh my god! 
This is annoying. Dude, pick it up. What the fuck? Fuck you and your stupid ass jetpacks. You fucking bitch ass bitch. Okay? Jesus. The jetpack has killed me three times this one mission. Because it would just randomly explode. You have the fucking rockets. You're the worst. You're the worst one, bro. Jetpack are your nemesis, bro. They've killed me like three times this one mission. It's the only thing that's killed me. Dude, the body would literally be on the ground for five minutes. Perfectly fine. I walk by it, boom, explodes. It's so fucking random. Another fucking drop ship? Are you fucking joking me, bro? Sending down sentry. Bro. My fucking sentry gun is shooting me. Whoa, bro. Stop it. Put it out. Did I though? You say that a lot of times when there's like nothing there. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing.
A resupply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently all planets what baggies you're making no sense. What the fuck are you talking about? Defending the automations have the advantage. Pelican one arriving at coordinates. What? Pelican one landing sequence initiated. Watch where you're standing. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Man, I'm telling you, I feel like a lot of people are taking the automations for granted compared to like what what we were fighting, what we were fighting, you know, a few days ago, a week ago, whatever. Like they're on a whole different level this time around. The red bar is more filled than our bar for more simply. I know what you mean, Baggies. I know what you mean. It's just like what you're saying is random as like is out of nowhere, is out of the blue. It's random. You know what I mean? I wasn't understanding what you were talking about because it was random. But I know what you I know what it means by like the bar and stuff. Because I mean, like, if you look at your messages, your last thing was these jetpacks are your nemesis, and then you say currently all planets. That's fucking random. I had no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it, it didn't make sense. Is what I was trying to say. We lost many good 
It was just random. I was like, what? A few minutes later, to be fair. It's just, I don't, I don't know what, what your, your messages just wasn't making sense because they, they just wasn't, you was responding to, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It, it just didn't make sense. Plain and simple. Best way to explain it. But anyways, uh, All planets All planets are losing All planets, every planet is losing. I, that's what I'm saying, man. People underestimated the freaking automatons. Now they're back at full fucking force. And we ain't winning shit. And then Look at this. We still have people over here. We still got 32,000 motherfuckers over here in Fort Prime. For what? Why? Is this is this a major order that I am unaware of? Then you have people on you have 14,000 on Neville 43. Why? How far are we going to get pushed back? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think with everything that's going on with the automatons, I don't know what way they're going to go. I'm going to be honest with you because instead of continue pushing down, they went this way. Yeah, they went, they went this way for some, well, probably because like, like, I feel like they would have pushed to this planet. Like, why did they push to this one? I mean, like, they, they could push over here. Hell, they might push all the way back to Maveline Creek. They might push all the way back over here and take Maveline Creek back. Yeah, they yeah i mean they they might take this whole sector but i mean look at the terminoids right terminoids have all of this this whole sector they have all of this to be fair we have all of this you know I don't know. I think, I, I mean, I don't know what direction they're going to push. Doubt it because the creek is a, was a major order. I mean, I mean, I could, I could see, I could see the bots instead of pushing towards earth. I, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know what their motivation is or anything like that. I don't think they would push all the way to earth right now. I don't think, I don't think they have a desire to do that. 
If anything, I think they would rather just take over this section. I mean, they, they already have this sector. They already have all these planets. They have their home planet, Salvastan, back. I don't know. I mean, we got 20 hours. 20 hours to defend some of these planets. I mean, what's going to happen if we don't, you know? awaits your salvation. You think we're going to fail this major order? Succeed in the defense of at least five planets. Well, we was able to succeed at one. And that was a min Kent, which is the one that I spent hours and hours. I spent like a long time on this planet yesterday all on like level seven level eight level nine uh so we was able to successfully defend this one but then it got attacked again and it is now losing uh Yeah, I mean, major order ends in one day, nineteen hours. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I've no idea. I, I don't think we will either, but you never know. There's six hundred fifty-seven people on Earth. There's thousands over fighting bugs. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It, it, it's, I mean, I think this is going to be a, a long, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's going to be a long, chaotic, hellish fucking war. I, I, I've said it before. I said it in the past. I'm going to say it again. Like this isn't like this isn't going to end in a day or two. It isn't. It's not going to end in a week. Like this is going to be a, a pretty long, hard fought war and it can go either way. And as of the way it looks right now, it is not going our way at all. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long war people like there's gonna be there's gonna be planets there's gonna be battles there's gonna be wars there's gonna be things i believe in this war that's gonna make maveline creek look like 
like it was nothing. I said this yesterday. Yeah. Innocents perish with every we must do be crazy, you do be crazy. I can't get this, but I can get this. Yeah, I didn't get this helmet. I think this helmet's pretty badass. The very, the very, um, the very, like, Mandalorian helmet, I guess you can say. Both this one and this one. Very Mandal Mandalorian-ish. Gotta match is almost every bit too. Destroyer has joined squadron. Yeah, it's a very I don't know, definitely gives some Mandalorian vibes with this helmet. Liberty's enemies march ever closer. Banana, no, no.
We have arrived. You murder. Go now. And near the shadow of night or death. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I just murdered myself with a drop pod. By accident. Very nice. Drop him. Act empty. Ending in an eagle. Fucking rocket hit me and then that didn't even kill me. I died because I I flew back and hit the wall. What's the point of wearing armor if you can't even take a fucking impact? Thank you. 
Sample collected. Objective located. Cancel that east. This is Pelican One, preparing for touchdown. What? 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 What is it, baggies? What is it, goddammit? Objective located, northeast. Missing three. Any idea where those three are? Did we check up here? baby You can blow up Pelican 1. You cannot blow Pelican 1 up. You can catch Pelican 1 on fire, but you can't blow it up. Want to test it? I don't need to. I've, I've seen... I've seen videos of people throwing every single ordnance that they have at it. You know, the every every single bomb, every single ordnance, and um, it doesn't do anything. 
It, it catches on fire, but like it doesn't, it doesn't blow up and nothing happens. It'd be, it'd be more of a waste of time. I've already, I've already seen people attempt it. I would not accidentally blow myself up this time. I say as I more likely will blow myself up this time. think about that fuck Shield and I don't know, bro. We're going to bring a century and the oh, can I go? Hello guys. Objective critical strategy available. Get some! 
Things got a little out of hand there. That's a Hulk. Stupid drop ship. you get out I think you're stuck buddy I think you're stuck you might have to wait for it to uh, dissolve
Mm. Eagle One returning to destroyer for resupply. Yeah. I think you might have to wait for it to despawn. Unless you just want me to shoot you. How long? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> How'd you like to taste of freedom? Sending in an eagle. Jesus. Down that hole came out of nowhere. And then two patrols came out of nowhere. It was three patrols all in one. Why would you throw an eagle in, man? I was going in. You could have killed me.
New mag. Rare sample acquired. Yo, I just bullied the fuck out of that hole. Hello? The terminal at mm. Jesus, there's like fucking twenty of them. Holy fuck. Yeah, these civilians, uh, I don't know. I feel like we should just move faster, to be honest. I didn't kill a civilian. No, I didn't. This guy did. This guy right here killed a civilian. Because he, he hit the civilian with his sword. Dodger Scorcher. Brother! I didn't kill a civilian! The fucking bot did. The bot was swinging his arm and his arm fucking... He, dude, he killed the civilian. Dude, these bots, the one with the saw arms, can kill the civilians with one hit. Nah, you're fucking stupid if you think I fucking killed that civilian. You're actually stupid if you think I shot that civilian. I did not shoot him. I literally watched the guy cut him in half with his saw hand. You didn't... No, dude. No. 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 You're wrong. Watch me shoot you. Shh. 
I didn't fucking shoot him. I shot you. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. You saying I killed a civilian when I didn't. Okay. One before you you say I kill that civilian one more time, I will literally just kick you. I didn't kill him. You can go back in the VOD and watch. The bot killed him. One thing I hate is been calling a liar. I'm not lying. Now if you show me the clip of me shooting him, I'll believe you. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You got a Hulk, Hulk beyond you. There's a Hulk beyond you. Oh my God.
Jeez, I'm out of ammo. Oh my God. Jesus, where the fuck did they come from? It, it is so dark. I can't, I can't see. Brother, why would you throw an airstrike when you saw me run to it? Oh my god. Sending in an eagle. There's another hole. What is it? What is where are they coming from? Injury? What injury? Ah! Well, wow, there's just so many just like right on that rock. God, there's more.
Holy. Dude, the fucking rocket guys. Holy shit. Just being spammed by rockets. How did my stuff get over there? Wait, what? Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Oh. Fuck. Jesus, there's like five rocket dudes all right next to each other. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's just too there, there's too many. There's just too many. We can't we can't. And there, there's like no cover either. There's even more coming. We just gotta go. Yeah, we just gotta go. We can't. We can't fight this. Sending in an eagle. Every time we wipe out one, they call reinforcements, and then another patrol shows up, and there's just more and more and more. I mean, look at this. There's even more coming. Enemy you, you just gotta go. You just gotta run. Not this way, though. They're just constantly spawning and patrols and reinforcements. Like, no, there's there's no way. 
Every time we wipe out one, three more show up. You can probably sneak around this side to get back to your stuff if you need it. Have the fucking jammer right here. And then the station over there to the right. You may proceed to extraction when ready. I just gotta push this. I just leave this and push to the other one. Tagging map. Southeast. 50 meters. Oh shit. Taking map. East. 100 meters. Got a sample. Alright, I'm gonna air support. Here comes the cavalry. Dropping a pit. Southwest. Do you know how many samples you had? Like the samples that you dropped, like, is it enough that we should go back for it? Three? That is a lot. Jesus Christ.
The barrage is one of the very random explosives. That when it kills something, you're like, damn. <laughs> this is very rewarding. Let me go, big boy, big boy. Pelican one preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. See, as I saw that Hulk, I was like, nope. Man, he's sticking around to find out. <laughs> Bro, we got in some freaking crazy freaking fights out of nowhere right there. Had a rail cannon? Oh, did you? Damn. I I, I forget that you can actually look to see like uh your teammates uh stratagems and see like their cooldown and stuff. I always forget to look at that because I forget that you you can do that. By the way, you didn't upset me earlier. It was more of um, it, it's it's a problem that I have and I've I've always had. It's it's whenever I I try to joke around and then the tone of my voice it's it's my fucking tone of my voice comes off as seriously. Or seriousness and aggressive when I I'm just joking I felt bad that's why I kind of stopped talking because it kind of got to me mentally like them I was I was just trying to like joke around and like came off aggressive I didn't mean to I tried unsuccessfully unless they changed it in a recent update oh you're talking about the uh, pelican blown up pelican one yeah i i've seen clips and uh a video of people trying to blow it up uh you you can only catch it on fire but like yeah you can't you can't actually like blow it up All I know is that one of my friends said that you can. Unless... Unless... Unless, like... Nah... I don't, I don't think you can. I mean, I haven't tried it myself. I was just... Like I said, I, I, I watched the video. There was like a, an 8 minute video you can probably find. I don't know what its name was. I just stumbled upon it and they they were testing all the different strat stratagems like the 500 kilogram bomb you know the the orbital strikes this and that and like it would catch it on fire but it, it would never explode it bring out the scout armor my favorite one so far yeah i like wearing the uh i'm gonna be honest i i prefer wearing the the scout armor Either you, any kind of scout armor, to be honest. Like, I like this one. Um, I try to do, like, um, like, if I'm doing, like, um, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of wear whichever one depends on the mission. But, uh, I like, I like wearing this one too because it's, um, it gives you medium armor benefits, but it gives you the the scout stealth passive, which I think is really cool. 
So if I... I wear this way sometimes. Well, I don't know, but I've gotten so used to wearing light armor that I feel super slow when I wear medium armor. And this one looks pretty nice. It, it really matches the helmet, too. I don't know. Sent your friend across on Steam. Did you? I dude, I never even check Steam's notifications. I should I should look at that. Why am I all covered in blood and you not? What the fuck? What's going on here? I like this. This kind of this armor with this helmet. This is what I like. I like wearing. What is that? What is that armor? I've never seen that before. How do you get that? What the hell? Been watching your content since the early Ghost Recon Breakpoint days. Dang, so that was like two, three years ago. Man, I, I, I've been, dude, life. All I can say is life. I never meant to take so, you know, huge amounts of breaks from my YouTube stuff and this and that. All I can say is life life just gets in the way happens you know i've become very addicted to this game though i've become very very addicted to this game i didn't mean to like i was i was gonna play like i i feel like i finished ghost recon with that last that last ghost recon video i feel like i feel like that was it i feel like that that was the ending of it if you know you watch the the ending of the video and everything i i i just can't think of anything else to do in that game other than things i've already done uh so i was gonna play metal gear phantom pain and i i have like 10 videos recorded and then i you know i i decided to download this game and play it with my brother and i've become addicted i've become addicted to this fucking game And I, 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 just, I just haven't, I haven't stopped. Man, that helmet looks stupid as fuck. <clears throat> I mean, the armor is fine, I guess. It's, it's the helmet. I don't like that helmet. I've seen clips of uh, people playing the game and they're wearing that helmet. I'm just like, what? Solid, I got work going on today, but we have to link up. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. For sure, for sure, for sure. That looks like a police uniform, and I don't know why. I think it's the blue. So this comes with the Super Citizen package. Like, could I download that right now if I wanted to? Or is it just a pre-order? Let me see if they got any DLCs. Um. So I have the Hell Divers 2 standard game, and then they have the Hell Divers Dive Harder Edition. What is that? Dive Harder Edition Digital Deluxe Edition.
I don't, I don't know. So Dive Harder Edition is something else, right? I'm assuming. What am I looking at? What has Steam threw me at? I think that the two are pre-order. So they're just things in the game that I'm just never going to get. So there's just things in the game that I'm just never going to be able to get. You know, I didn't even know about this game. I never even heard about it until like a week ago, two weeks ago, like right before I actually downloaded it and played it. Like I, the, the first time of me hearing about it, was someone in my YouTube comment section mentioning the game and then I was like I don't know what that is and then it, it kept popping up you know from different people you know and the different you know comments of my of my YouTube videos like people it, it started popping up more more and more often it was like, oh, you know, you should you should play Helldivers 2. We, you know, we would like to see some Helldiver 2 videos. You know, let's see, you know, I, I would like to see you like do some stealth content in Helldivers. And I'm like, what what is that? What what is that game? I've never heard of it in my life. And then, you know, a week ago or five days ago, I looked at it. I was like, eh. I'll try it. Got it with my brother, and boom, here we are. Five days later, I'm fucking addicted. Reskin of this helmet, to be fair. Wait, that's a reskin? Think you can upgrade to it from the base? I don't know if I want to. I mean, I guess it'd be cool to have it, but it's kind of... I mean, I wouldn't mind having like that, that white one. Doesn't really seem white though. Seems more like a, a cream color. But yeah, uh, the, the scout, the scout armor. I wish you could have presets. Like, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm so used to like Ghost Recon and stuff. Having preset outfits. Because I would have like a, a nighttime stealth infiltrator preset, which would probably be like this, to be honest. Then if I had like a, a daytime uh, infiltrator, you know, I would have this armor with like um, this helmet. This would be like my daytime. Well, you know, besides the cape, ignore the cape. Cape would be anything. This would be like my daytime, I guess. Kind of stealth. Lightweight, light run. I don't know. Be cool. I try to have my stuff match at least though. Very light. This scorcher isn't too bad, by the way. It's pretty much like a uh, an energy version of a marksman rifle just without a scope on it I also run out of I run out of ammo really quickly too and also the weapon sway of it like when you're like trying to quickly aim left or right whatever it has like it feels kind of heavy compared to like um I don't know anything else I don't trust it. You can upgrade to this Super Citizen Edition for twenty dollars. I ain't got no spare twenty dollars. Uh, I might do that one day though. Definitely not right now. 
Did we finish the operation? I think we did. We did, we did. They're taking over everything. We are losing this planet. We are also losing the other two. This is the only one that is... I mean, it's still losing, but it's the only one close enough. This is also the one where there's majority people on it. There's 70,000 on this one. It's only 22,000 on this one. Then there's 31,000 on ours. This one is losing by a lot. We have 18 hours. Honestly, what we should do is we should move to Vernon Wells and add our support there. Considering that is the one that's closest to being uh, catching up and kind of winning that one. That's probably the, the planet that we, we, should, we should focus on. But then if we do that, then we're just going to lose these other planets. It's, it's really, really crazy. Hey, what do you, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, baggies? What do you think? And this was all part of Joel's plan. Let's relax for a day. They come back and hit us hard when we're chilling. It literally lasted a day, didn't it? Literally lasted a day. I mean, Vernon is closest to Super Earth. Yeah, but I mean, like, they... The they, they would be able to just go around. Let us decide where to They'd be able to just go around Vernon. They, they could... they, Look, they could just go here. Gollum, Gollum, Golly, 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 I don't know. They could, they could just go here. But also, if you think about it, the planet that we're on trying to defend, they could just, once the, if they take this one, they could just push to this and then push over here and then push down. I mean, they could easily just go around Vernon. They could easily, because they already, they already technically control Lezeth. They could easily push from Lezeth down to here, and then, boom. I mean, and then if you look at the bug side, we still have like, we have like fifty thousand. I would say around about fifty thousand, still on the bug side. 32,000 still on 4 Prime. Thirteen thousand on Neville. That's the bug on e players. Oh, so that's the people who only play bugs. They don't. They don't care for the bots. So, are are these the people who are are afraid of the bots? They don't like the bots because because of what? I've heard that there's a lot of people in this game who like think the bots are too difficult and they they prefer the bugs. I mean, everyone, everyone has their reason. Everyone has their, you know, their thing that they, they want to do, I guess. They probably like COD zombies too. Probably. Nothing like a good old Kinder or Tolton. Man, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. I don't know. 
Maybe we should move to Vernon. What is Vernon? Earthquakes. Okay, so this is the one that has like earthquakes. Min kit is the one that I was on yesterday and we was able to successfully defend and then suddenly they took it over. This is this is pretty much Hellmire, by the way. Minkin is pretty much Hellmire. It is it is a fire tornado planet. These three planets here are pretty much these three planets. Wait, no. Pretty much these three planets. It's pretty much Nivel, Hellmeyer, and then uh, for uh, yeah, for your prime. Copy paste planets. I think fire planets with bots are the worst case scenarios in the game. Dude, yesterday I, I spent like freaking 18 hours playing on Minkent, which again, Minkent is pretty much Hellmire. It is pretty much a fire planet against the bots. And almost every operation I did was like a level, level eight and level nine. I did a, I, I did like, I think I did four level nine operations solo dolo on this fucking planet. It was not, it was not fun. I had experience. That's why, that's why I'm playing on like level four today. Cause like, I, cause I, I continued playing last night after I ended my stream. And I continue playing and like, dude, I was so, I'm so mentally clocked out that I was like, you know what? I'm going to play the game, but I'm, I'm just going to be like a little, a little lower difficulty, we just chilling. Galaxy, one planet at a time. Vernon, um, yeah, Vernon's close to Earth. I need to see something. I wasn't paying attention to this. I need to see. Oh. I thought I I thought we had got enough uh, common samples. I thought I was about to be able to freaking upgrade this or upgrade something. But nope. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what's going to happen. Baggies, like I said, man, this war, my my thoughts, my opinions on it, this war is going to take a long time and it's only going to get worse got to go eat soon might have time for a blitz well i was actually fixing to end stream myself and go eat because it is lunch time so if you got to go eat soon baggies that's personally fine again earlier you did not upset me i was trying to joke around uh my my tone of my voice comes off more aggressive than i mean for it to this one's really hard for me to make jokes. I don't Your know. Hell divers rage against the enemy's tyranny. I think it's also uh, it, it's it's like it's like a mix of me being a very open and honest person, which can kind of affect my. I don't I don't know, dude. I don't fucking know. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. How about that? Fuck you. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. <laughs> Couple runs at the higher deputies can be pretty exhausting, especially if they're rough runs. Sometimes it's total chaos from landing, and other times you keep checking what deputy you selected because you're confused. It's true as well. That's very true. It, it, it was it was very it got very exhausting mentally. Like I was I was going to bed, just like thinking like why the fuck did I do that. You know, I could have just, I could have just toned it down to like level seven, but it's also like, I, I, I was just trying to, I was just trying to like improve and get even better at it. I don't know. But I don't know. Uh, is it, is it even worth 
is it even worth doing operations at that high of a level if more times people fail like wouldn't it be more beneficial to the mission to the liberation of a planet or defense of a planet if you did it on a lower difficulty like you know four five six seven where you can you have more confidence of being able to beat the operation and actually make an impact on the liberation instead of playing level eight or nine where you more likely will not be able to succeed in that operation and will fail which means you do not give an impact positively to that planet's liberation or defense meaning that you are actually hurting that planet more than helping it because you are playing at level nine failing almost every operation wasting time when you could have just been playing on level four five six seven where you also could have probably successfully passed every operation and actually made an impact you know what i'm saying does that make sense Depends up run with groups that can manage it like it's normal difficulty, which means more benefits and XP materials, etc. Other times it's exactly what you're saying. Well, I, I'm talking about like the average player. Like the average player, the average group of friends, whoever it is, you know, trying to play hell dive every single time they play the game. But also at the same time, I I don't I don't think, you know, even if you even if you're good enough or can or whatever, like cuz I mean like I I've done solo level 9 hell dive operations by myself and been successful. I've done level 9 hell dive with the groups and been successful. But I mean like even though I know I can do it and I believe I'm skilled enough to continue to do it, sometimes I like to just like enjoy the game on a lower difficulty you know sometimes it's nice to just lower the difficulty and just kind of enjoy the game because if you play level nine all the time every like every single day things will happen where you just the game just pisses you off <laughs> i just want to enjoy the game you know i i i do not judge anybody for playing on a lower difficulty i know there are it, it, i find it really weird and i find them cringe as fuck but the people who are very 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 judgmental on others for not playing max difficulty those people are cringe and i advise you to stay away from them <laughs> like playing hell dive you don't you don't have to play hell dive every single time you turn the game on oh get good crap is ridiculous yeah yeah i mean like i don't mind you know going into like an intense operation with super crazy fights and you you know level nine being absolutely insane but at the same time i do like to tone it down a bit level level seven level six level five whatever i'm in the mood for and just play the game have you know just have fun with it and even at level four like we was on level four right there and even then it got crazy at the end like we was being surrounded and there was like four four hulks but then like a minute apart from each other which i mean i don't mind and i can you know we can handle it it's just i'm you know i'm just saying the game can still get fucking intense even on a lower difficulty yeah that was the thing yeah l diver take command of the galaxy's liberation
Those rockets, bro. Those rockets were pissing me off. <laughs> Dude, every time I peeked out the fucking window, I just fucking get smacked by a rocket. But yeah, it is lunchtime, everybody. It is time for me to take a break and stream, get some food, eat some food, think about life, sit outside and watch the weather. Cause it's it's like a rainy, cloudy, thunder, thunderous day. Baggies, it was good fighting with you as always. Take care. Do some more dives with you later. Maybe level nine. <laughs> As long as we don't have to do that freaking blitz, uh, the blitz mission of freaking, uh, saving the, the civilians, I'm fine. That's the only mission I'm not doing. I don't care. I'm not doing that mission. I don't care what anybody says. That's, I, that is the one mission I will not do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end it here, get some food, take a break. I will see everybody in the next stream. I will probably be starting back within, I don't know. It's 1225 right now. So it's launch time for me. So I would say I, I would probably start back in about an hour playing some more um probably i don't know i probably moved to a different planet i probably moved to vernon to be honest probably try to go there and the help help with vernon we must join the yeah the siege upon managed democracy continues. but until then i will see everybody in the next stream take care and good luck out there if you are hell diving Bye-bye.